there is a major announcement comes after India's Chandrayaan-3 successfully entered lunar orbit over the past few days after its launch last month. The country after its successful mission to the moon for the first time in 1959, plans to launch the Luna 25 lander, its first since 1976 to revive a Soviet-era lunar program. It was renamed from Luna Glob Lander to Luna 25, to emphasize the continuity of the Soviet Luna program, though it is still part of what was at one point, conceptualized as the Luna Glob Lunar Exploration Program. It is a planned lunar lander mission by Russia's Roscosmos, and will land near the lunar south pole at the Bogoslavsky crater. Initial mission plans called for a lander and orbiter, with the latter also deploying impact penetrators. In its current form, Luna 25 is a lander only, with a primary mission of proving out the landing technology. The four-legged lander, which weighs around 800 kilograms will carry 30 kilograms of scientific instruments, including a lunar robotic arm, LRA, for soil samples and possible drilling hardware. The launch is currently scheduled to occur on 10 August 2023 at 23.10 Time on a Soyuz 2.1B rocket with Fregat upper stage, from Vostokny Cosmodrome. The lander will feature a 30 kg payload composed by nine science instruments. Their instruments are to study the surface regolith, to detect charged particles and neutrals in the polar exosphere, to measure surface water, and to measure composition of regolith samples from the LRA using laser ablation. The PML detector will study dust in the polar exosphere, the ThermoL will study the regolith thermal properties. After President Vladimir Putin sent troops to Ukraine last year, the European Space Agency said it would not cooperate with Moscow on the upcoming Luna 25 launch as well as future 26 and 27 missions. Despite the pullout, Moscow said at the time it would go ahead with its lunar plans and replace ESA equipment with Russian-made scientific instruments. Speaking at the Vostokny Cosmodrome last year, Putin said that, the Soviet Union put the first man into space in 1961, despite total sanctions and insisted Moscow would develop its lunar program despite current Western sanctions. We are guided by the ambition of our ancestors to move forward, despite any difficulties and any attempts to prevent us in this movement from the outside, Putin said at the time. Luna will reach the target in five days. It will then spend seven days in lunar orbit and assess the situation before landing directly at one of the three landing sites at the South Pole. Luna 25 will also touch the lunar surface before, along with, or immediately after the landing of Chandrayaan-3, which is expected to take place on the 23rd of this month. The world is anxious about to see that, who will reach the South Pole of the Moon first. The lander is expected to operate on the lunar surface, studying surface regolith and exospheric dust and particles for one year. Finally, landing on the moon continues to be a highly valued political target for some nations. Future studies of the moon will undoubtedly lead to even deeper insights into the origin of the Earth, our home planet. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe the channel and make sure to like share, and comment your thoughts down below. Stay curious.